Welcome back, guys, to the Goodfellas Podcast Show. Whoa. We're it's the Seamus Wire Podcast. It's a school podcast. Remember, we talked about it in the trailer two that, weeks ago. My bad. Welcome, guys, to the Seamus Experience. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. We got it, guys. Welcome to the first episode of the Seamus Wire Podcast, hosted by the Goodfellas. My name is Chami Choi. I'm Ethan Arguello. We're sophomores here at SDC. We and we're so excited to launch our very own school podcast. Thanks to the Emerald Multimedia team and our producer, Lulu, who can't be here today. And, and me for being the face of the entire podcast. You're welcome, guys. You're in for a treat. Seriously eating pizza right now? Are we not taking a break? We just filmed the intro. Let's oh! Go. Oh my god, this is. It's a... been a while, guys. It's been a bit. Last it's time it. we filmed was like six months ago. Seven months ago, because we just entered November now. Seven months ago was our last time filming. We're gonna be a little rusty. Hang with us. Our previous guests were, I think, I think current sophomores now. Yeah, current sophomores. sophomores. Yeah. And uh, we're fire. We're so excited to launch the first episode. Mm -hmm. I'm so honored mm -hmm. to be here. It's so weird filming in, in person, finally. Exactly, we've always been on Zoom. Yeah, you know the Goodfellas shows one of those amateur things that no, we're done we, we, That was Hollywood <laughs> level. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, currently we're filming on a Tuesday afternoon. It's 3 o'clock p.m. We don't have a lot of time to release the first episode. Hopefully we can release by this weekend. So by the, time, by the time you're seeing this, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Great weekend. Yes. Um, special thanks to the Emerald, the multimedia mm -hmm. team, Lulu, who, who, who again is not here today. And we filmed our first episode for the Seamus Wire podcast. <laughs> we did. And then about a week ago. About a week ago. It but didn't it, go so well. Because Ethan's fat body. Whoa, was, whoa, no need to insult here. Yeah, but I was cut out of frame. I was like this the entire time. Yeah, because, you know, he was a little wide. Oh. <laughs> you know, we're going to get past it, okay? Okay. Moving on. But uh, this idea for the podcast, you may be asking yourself, why did these random sophomores start a podcast here at the school why did we? to make a fool out of themselves? Exactly. Why did we do that? Why did we do that? Here's a good reasonable answer. <laughs> we wanted to start this podcast uh, freshman year. Um, mm -hmm. Shout out to Mr. Morris for... Um, connecting me with Mr. Ford because she wanted to launch some kind of audio like podcast platform from the Emerald, uh, make it kind of like a school-based theme, obviously, keep it PG. And uh, due to COVID and due to a lot of lack of communication from the Emerald and myself and other peers and Ethan, obviously, <laughs> we couldn't start a podcast um, as soon as possible. But finally, now that we're all in person, no, better late than ever. Yeah. We're here, finally, at the beautiful library. We got a good view out here. Mm -hmm. And our editors, um, unfortunately, cannot edit this first episode. I'm he's, editing. He's editing, actually, which is if pretty If it's cool. bad, blame Tommy. Yes. Well, blame Ethan, because he can't even make a schedule. <laughs> I have a busy schedule. I'm busier than you. What? Nah, 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 not anymore. Not anymore. Homecoming. <laughs> um, you knew we were going to talk about it. I did, but um, I wouldn't say homecoming would be a sophomore highlight. Of my I career. said it would be. Why? Well, guys, Tommy and I had a bit of a dilemma that same day. Homecoming was what? Two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, I think. Two weeks ago, from probably when this is being released. Mm -hmm. Me and Tommy are well known volleyball players in the city. We're, the, we're like the best. Ooh. So, uh -oh. <laughs> we had a volleyball tournament the same day. As homecoming, Chami almost didn't make it. Luckily, I did mm -hmm. on time. Mm -hmm. So, when you got there, what was your experience like? How was it for you? I was, what was the music, the food? Oh, they didn't have first food. of all, the music was terrible. What the I heck? Agree with that what the heck just I happened to that DJ? But did you go with someone? I did. Oh wait, it was posted uh, on the SCC. Yes, Hoko proposal. Shout out to them. They did an amazing but like, job. But like that account kind of like made me sad. <laughs> it's, you know, tell me it's okay. just like just like looking at people, just like being so surprised and shocked that 
Oh my god, someone proposed to me. We're going to Hoko together. This is our first time experience, second time, third time experience. Our final Hoko adventure together. That's alright, Tommy. You know, but I'll get him next year. But I, I, I looked at your proposal, to be exact. Why were you? Why were? Why were you like? No, I don't. I don't have it here. But I wish I did, but I don't want to show it because I think it would be too inappropriate. But uh, you were like, why were you like walking your feet like, like just like? You know, this is judgmental. Yeah. We're gonna move on because I don't like you right now. How's Halloween for you? That was yesterday. That was not. Oh, thanks yesterday. for asking me if I went with someone. We know the answer to that, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now people are calling me 0 for 1 now, did you know that? Obviously, that person who I asked chose somebody else. We're not getting into it. I know. Not getting into it. Kind of sad at the same time, but it's all good. It's all good, because it's her decision. Nothing I can do about it. I did my part, obviously. <laughs> and, uh... Okay. <laughs> this is getting sad. <laughs> Moving on to Halloween. I think this Halloween was... It was pretty not, I think it was not that bad. Mm -hmm. What were you for Halloween? I was rocking my 8th grade year Halloween costume of Clark Kent. You know, why would you be Superman when you can be Clark Kent? Because Clark Kent is nice with it. He's, <laughs> he's a news reporter. Is he? No, he's a journalist. He's a, well, he's a reporter. Journalist he's a reporter for journalist. Daily Bugle. He has oh, wait, no, glasses. No, 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 sorry. Oh my, Daily Bugles, Marvel, Chani. Sorry. Sorry. Did you go trick or treating? I did not. I didn't have time to. But I watched this a movie. What movie did you watch? Uh, I believe it's called The Strangers Pray at Night. I'm never again. That's one of the most BS horror movies I've ever watched in my life. You know, Chani. There is no like motivation. everyone out there who you don't know me. I'm horror movies and no, no, no go. Nothing horror. One Anything our, horror? One of our good friends showed him that movie from what I heard. Yeah, it didn't go well. What was the most disturbing scene? Everything. <laughs> I, I I literally was now next a year, blanket. Mm -hmm. It was like right across my eyes like this. Like now next year, there. there's gonna be a sequel. What? Oh, where the sequel came out, but you gotta watch the sequel next year though. I'm thinking. <laughs> I think I'm sick that day. Not only Halloween weekend was just Halloween themed, but the outside land. Outside land, yeah. Yeah, I heard the biggest stars were there, like uh, Lizzo, Lizzo was there. Tyler the Creator, Tame Impala. Yeah. Did you go to the outside land? Uh, I passed by there twice. It was, the stage was pretty small. Really? Yeah, the stage was pretty small. I know there was a lot of people going. Yeah. There was a famous Mongolian band group that came. Mongolian. Mongolian. <laughs> <laughs> from, what, from what my friend said when he visited, it was pretty, and they weren't actually that bad. And is outside? Do you consider outside lands? I thought outside lands teenagers weren't allowed to be there because they sell alcohol. You know, like Coachella. Like yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. But all I know, they have like a special wristband for uh, kids. Oh. Yeah. So like obviously no alcohol. Yeah. But I'm assuming they some some certain teenagers might have snuck <laughs> alcohol in. Not to point your fingers, but you know. But uh, you wanna know what I was for? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, people, people called me Ollie around the streets when I was in, when I was in, uh, when it was on Sunday. Around the streets. Yeah. I was, uh, a player from the Squid Game Netflix show. The famous show, Taking the World by Storm. This kid only watched three episodes of it. I was busy. No, busy watching anime. That too. Who watches anime? A lot of people will side with me on this, okay? But uh, I was Givun, the main character, player 456, although they didn't have any uh, costume for 067. I was kind of bummed out. <laughs> it's the girl. <laughs> it's the girl. So sad. So sad. Yeah. And I, to be honest, I love that costume. The tracksuit. I even wore it to uh, the St. Monica game. Yeah, we were coaching a day uh, on Saturday right before Halloween. Yeah. Chami shows up in the full tracksuit, and I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing, Chami? <laughs> Oh, yeah, at least it made a good impression. We won two You know, yeah, we, we won. We won, won the two, two sets. We're second place right now, six and one for mm -hmm. our team. Hopefully we win a championship. I might be wearing something more outrageous. Oh my god. And you should show up in colorful suits. Yeah, you you remember my outfit from homecoming? Yeah. The blazer? I might wear that one. <laughs> but um, throughout the school weekend we had the chance to see lots of different mm -hmm. cool, creative, strange, unique costumes yeah. around the campus. What were the ones that struck out to you most? I know there was a mushroom somewhere. There was a mushroom? There was a mushroom, oh. yeah. Don't know where. I think the most impressive one that I saw was the two mates that I saw. 
two mates? The mates. Remember two students oh. were dressed as mates? <laughs> that was so impressive. Impressive is but like, one I, way to... But like, when I went to Stonestown for the mall over the weekend, I saw at least six people wearing the same costume. I'm just like, what's the trend with these maid costumes you now? I thought it was something you know, like... I guess it's popular. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, what was it? There was another costume, a, a sophomore war. It was like an Edward Scissorhand kind of like cloth oh, yeah, yeah. that she won. That was... I think she deserved that one. Mm. Out of every category, I think she deserved that one. I think that was from a video game. A video game? Yeah. Wait, I, did, I, I forgot, but it kind of reminded me of Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, I Johnny, see what you're saying. The one with Johnny Depp. Yeah. But uh, what was the most common one that you saw? If, if you if you like had the chance to like wander around, a like, common one? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know. What do you think? I'm thinking. I thought it would be Squid Game this year. I totally thought. I it. thought it would be Squid Game, thought, but not many, were, no. not many people were not many people wearing Squid Game. I know one guy wore the but yeah the red Clippers. Yeah, he plays basketball, and he's a, he's in the same church history. I had to be quiet the whole time. Even the librarians there, they were scared of him when he came into the library. Like, he wouldn't talk because it was like method acting because the guards in the show, they That's didn't talk. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty cool. So I couldn't talk to him, obviously, because we all know how players end up. But uh, winter sports are coming. Winter sports. Basketball, mm -hmm. boys and girls, mm -hmm. soccer. The cross? I think the cross is spring. Spring? spring? I don't know. I don't know either. Shout out to all the, the uh, all the students and players, student athletes who mm -hmm. contributed to the basketball team and all the soccer. We wish you guys luck on your season. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys beat us at the Bruce Mahoney, which takes place Scott. next year. Hopefully, football season is coming to an end. I think they're against Midi uh, this week. I think. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Pretty good that they win. <laughs> Let's win. Let's win. Come on, SSC. And Ethan, final final topic. Yeah. You were the manager for the JV Girls Ball. I season. was. Yeah. How, how was that experience? Oh, it was. Fun. You were with uh, Colin Wu. Yeah. So how it originally started out? Uh, it was just me, but then um, my friend Colin Wu, same grade as us, also played volleyball, of course, asked to be a manager. So yeah, we brought him along, mm -hmm. and then eventually Coey. <laughs> Out of nowhere, became a manager. So yeah, we have three managers for the JV wow. girls. You guys really need that much to, you know, more help. I guess. You no, know, it was a fun experience. Oh yeah, because he missed out a lot. I <laughs> did. I'll, I'll say it. I, I missed them. Um, yeah. I've been busy, but you know, it was a fun experience. Do it again. Mm -hmm. And what happened? What the hell happened? What do you mean? What the happened? last game. We ignore what happened. You know, effort. They played their hearts out. Mm -hmm. They did, they put in the work, mm -hmm. but you know, in the end, those SI girls were huge. Yeah, they were nothing, tall. nothing to complain about that yeah. part. But uh, shout idea. out to all the fall sports athletes who contributed to volleyball, football, and I think that's about it. I think those are the main ones that took place this year. Uh, shout out to all the, the girls who participated in the first ever Bruce Mahoney volleyball mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't talk about the results, but you know, his, history in the making. Yeah, you know, at least you're part of matters. history. At least you're part of history. Yeah. Uh, good luck to all the winter sports that's happening. And the final question for you, Ethan: yeah. who, Who's your player? Who's your favorite player on the JV team? No comment, Coach Tony. And that is wrap. That's up, it. That wraps about episode one on the Seamus Wire podcast. Episode one. If you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe on the Emerald Channel, the Goodfellas Show Channel on YouTube. Make anywhere. sure to check out any podcast, our podcast, anywhere on any podcast platform. Anywhere else? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you guys. That's it. In two weeks. Adios. Woo!